Hey guys, it's your boy Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another video, boys. This video, we've got another player review, another Europa League Road to the Final player review card that has been released a few days ago. Some of these cards are absolutely insane, therefore, I'm doing the player reviews on them. I did do a Benny other one, so if you haven't already, go check that out. Right now, for this video, we're going to be doing Jeremy Mattia, 86 rated centre back card. He's got 76 pace, 70 dribbling, 87 defending, 85 physical, 78 passing, 68 shooting. Nice looking card. High medium work rates. Let's match 25 likes if you guys enjoy this video. He does have really, he does have a really nice looking card. Appealing stats. I want to see, man. I feel like his card stats are like close to one of the best centre backs in the game. So I'm gonna take that to the test. Cost us around 27,000 coins. And yeah, let's match 25 likes if you guys enjoy this video. If any guys want to buy FIFA 19 coins, I'm currently selling coins on the PS4, boys. So yeah, hit me up on my Twitter. The Marazzi payment, I'll literally send you the coins legit 100%. If any guys want to take the trading to the next level, go check out my trading group, 100% worth it. You'll be making a million coins a month minimum. Go check it out. Links in the description with exclusive trading content there. And yeah, 25 likes, put notifications on, you know how it is. So you'll be notified when I'm uploading and streaming. Recently, I haven't been enjoying much YouTube. When I say recently, I mean the last few days. Just hasn't been going well, so if you guys could help me out by smashing the like button, commenting, being active in the channel, that'd be absolutely insane. But yeah, enough of the talking now. Let's get straight into the Jeremy Mathieu player review. First game, we do come up against Laporte, Company, De Gea, Ronaldinho, Timo Werner. It's not an easy looking team. Like it's a really nice looking team. He's got Hazard as well. If if I do sound a bit weird, it's because I did go to the dentist then I feel a bit numb, by the way. But yeah, this Jeremy Ma uh, Jeremy Jeremy Mathieu card. One thing that surprised me about him was that he was really good on the ball. This guy was absolutely insane on the ball. Absolutely crazy. Like he was so good on the ball, like he felt like a midfielder. That's how good on the ball he was. So when you're trying to seize the game out in foot champions, for example, or in division rivals where like let's say you're winning two one, there's like twenty minutes in uh twenty minutes left, sorry, seventieth minute, twenty minutes left, you're struggling. You know that this guy's a better player than you, therefore you resort to keeping the ball because if you lose the ball, you know this guy will get the goal because momentum's on his side and all that. Jeremy Mathieu is a perfect player, 100%. This guy can play with the ball on his feet. That's what I liked about him. Really good. Obviously, he's got high attacking work rates, which some would say is a no-go for a centre-back. But when I used him... He was going up, but like I didn't see a big of an impact. It's not like this guy was running to the striker position and keep leaving the centre back role empty. You know what I mean? He was not. It's not that deep. Like I didn't see much of an impact. It seemed the same. It seemed normal. His passing was really good, as I did say. He felt really fast. Like his offending and physical. Like his physicality, 85 EA or not lying. Literally, you guys are going to see throughout this video the amount of times he does barge. He does barge the ball shoulder to shoulder battle with the attacker and he just gets them out of the ball like it's absolutely insane no foul as well this guy's really good that's another positive about him like he got 8.6 rating in the first game which is pretty good considering it was 2-1 he stopped this guy from getting back into the game this uh second game we do come up across Diego Costa, Griezmann, Cruz, Malcolm nice looking team in this game he literally he literally uh, pocketed Diego Costa the whole game like, there's going to be clips where you guys are going to see him just bullying uh, Diego Costa out of the ball, which is as absolutely insane. Like, this Jeremy Mathieu card is by far one of the best centre-backs I've used in this game. 100%. His passing is up to class. That's something I've been struggling with defenders recently. Like, I feel like they're good defensively, but when it, once it gets to when I want to keep possession, sees the game out, they can't pass the ball, and the ball accuracy is just poor. If any guys are good at free kicks, this guy has got really nice free kicks. 81 free kick. He's got 85 crossing as well, 88 curve. So he does. If he does have a chance inside a box, he will put it in the back of the net. Simple as. He's got 85 shot power, which is really good for the free kicks as well. Like he's just an all-rounder, nice-looking player, man. Like he felt really good on the ball. Despite only having a 47 balance, he felt really good on the ball. But I feel like that's due to the fact that he's got 84 composure. That what? That's why he felt really good on the ball. As you guys just saw, he's that player that when the team's attacking, he will tackle you and he will basically start the attack. Because of how good he's on the ball, 
and how good defensively he can get the ball easily. He releases and he starts the counter attack. Simple as. And as you just saw there, we did get a goal from Willy Cavallo. All started with Matthias tackle and quick execution. Like this guy is really good on the ball, man. Like I don't know, man. For twenty-seven thousand coins, I can tell you right now. Some of you guys might say he's a bit stupid, a bit stupid. What I'm about to say. He is six foot two as well. He's really tall. He's an aerial threat, a hundred percent in the corners, near posts, in the back of the net. This guy is by far, in my opinion, one of the best centre backs I have used in this game. 100%. He's up there with Virgil van Dijk and Davidson Sanchez. He just felt so complete. Like, oh man, he felt so good. 27,000 coins. Also, he's got the French. Another positive is the French links. So he doesn't, you don't really have to stick with the Liga Nord because obviously the Liga Nord not the best league out there. Yeah, there's a few nice players at like Pity, which I'll be doing a player review soon. There's Grimaldo in form. There's a few nice, decent players around which you could build around Mattia. But proper option the best option will probably be go the French route so you can link it with Varane or Mtiti, Loris you know what I mean Benjamin Mendy build him around a French team and this guy will do bits man like he's just another level man hopefully you guys enjoyed this player review if any guys on your channel drop that sub that'll be absolutely insane that'll be much appreciated smash the like button if any guys want to buy FIFA 19 PS4 coins Hit me up on my socials, Twitter, Twitter or Instagram. I'm selling them for really cheap. I got them on an SBC account. I'm, I'm willing to sell them for really cheap. So, yeah, just hit me up on my socials and I'll be up for that. Put notifications will be notified when I'm uploading and streaming. And please show support in my videos, boys. If you guys are enjoying my videos, feel free to unsubscribe. Like, I want everyone that's active to be active on my channel by commenting, tuning into the streams and that. I do stream daily and stuff, so please tune in. That would be much appreciated. And, yeah. Shout out to Evani for doing the play review. What a legend. If you guys got to this part of the video, comment below. Hashtag GG. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. See ya.